At Rejuvenation, we know the decision to rejuvenate is an important one to you and your family. As the original pioneers of rejuvenation technology, we can promise you a flawless, beautiful new body with far lower instances of accelerated aging, paralysis, and other side effects. And our patented psychiatric screening all but ensures that mental disorders and PRA violations are a thing of the past. Imagine a whole new you, a whole new life. Rejuvenation, do it for the future, do it for you. Rejuvenation involves medical risk. Talk to your doctor and obey all PRA restrictions. May cause violent mental disorder, accelerated aging, and other negative side effects. Not available in New Cambodia and other provinces. Sit you up. Good. Feel any lightheadedness? No. How... How long did it take in my case? It's been three years and four months since the start of your rejuvenation process. Your original nervous and skeletal systems are restored, and most other organs and muscle tissue regrown and integrated. Think you can stand? I think so. Here, come to the mirror. Let's have a look at Sarah Collins. Very nice. You're a very beautiful young woman, Sarah Collins. So different from my old face back when I was 20. Wish they would have left it as it was, but yes, certainly beautiful. Okay. What's next? You rest and eat. You can visit the garden. Then, after a final physical examination, you'll meet with a rejuvenation officer for your exit interview. I'll bring you some clothing now, Miss Collins. Sarah, I'm Carl. Hi. There you are, Sarah Collins. Nice first photograph for your file. Mind if I take notes? Now, how are you feeling, Sarah? Ready to get out of here and start your new life? There's no rush. Uh, we just need to review a few details, remind you of the policies and protocols. It's the law. I understand. I realize this is all repetitive from before the process. I don't particularly remember before the process. <laughs> it's okay, Miss Collins. I'm only interested in the future. Sure you are. You're a brand new person. The future is all you have. Yes. What's your plan? Cuba. The university. Oh. What do you want to study? I'm thinking one of the edge-cutting disciplines. Find something to get me deeper into the future. Don't you have two children? No. Two sons. Sure, you had two sons. Francis and Thomas. I don't remember. Francis and Thomas. 
We can acknowledge your previous life here in this interview, Ms. Collins. I'm done with my past. You don't want to see Francis again? No. Sweet, gentle Francis. What about Thomas? Horrible, ungrateful Thomas. Why would I break the law? Maybe it'd be worth it. Maybe you're going to go check them out, meet them in public, talk to them, see if they realize who you are. Everyone knows it's not worth it. The special penalties. But you could access your previous wealth, get them to pass it on to Sarah Collins. You know damn well I didn't have a credit to my name at the end. Nobody needs to worry about any immortal upper class in my case. Ah, yes. An anonymous benefactor paid the considerable sum for your rejuvenation. It happens. It's crazy, really. I wasn't expecting them to come to me in hospice care and start the process. I did my part. I made the sacrifices and had... Francis and Thomas. I worked all my life for those kids, and I was ready for the end. You could have refused. Some do. And because I didn't, you think I'll violate the law. Can I just ask? Do you know what being cupped really is? Here we say special penalties. But what is it? Is it torture? Is it something physical or mental? Some kind of horrible technology? Can they really still do it to you even if you kill yourself? How is that possible? I honestly don't know. Rejuvenation officers don't need to. All I know is the same as you. The Population Renewal Act contains special carve-out exceptions for cruel and unusual punishment. It was the only way to control the societal effects of rejuvenation technology. If only it were possible to induce amnesia. Well, I'm not gonna break the law. I sure as hell don't want to be cupped, and I've never even heard of a juvie trying it for decades, have you? We don't use that kind of language here either. There are no juvies, only people, Ms. Anderson. My name is Sarah Collins. Good. Yes, it is. So then can I go now? What about your ex-husband? That's, oh, quite a few. Look, I know you're just trying to get me riled up. You're not very good at it. All of them can go to hell, whether they're alive or dead or jubies or whatever. Then wouldn't it feel good to show up and rub your youth in their withered old faces? Let them know you've got a new life and a beautiful new young body and they can't have any part of it? <laughs> okay, that's really stupid. I'm only interested in the future, Carl. Well, that's a safe bet none of them were your anonymous benefactor. Any idea who it was? No. Why would an anonymous benefactor want to give you this incredible gift? I don't know. Do you think you deserve it? Everyone deserves it. Everyone? What about murderers? Christ, it's like arguing with Thomas. Now you're trying to see if I'm a political extremist? That doesn't really fit your profile. So, maybe it was one of your sons that paid for your rejuvenation. Well, looks like either one could just about afford it. Only Francis would. Then why wouldn't he tell me? Good question. Maybe he'll want to find out. Look, I know the law. Juvie's... The rejuvenated elderly are to consider themselves newborn. A new person with a new life. Don't return to the old neighborhood. Don't try to see anyone you knew. Don't tell anyone who you were. Make new friends. Start a new family. Or don't. But don't go back. Whatever you do... Don't go back. Right? Sounds pretty well rehearsed, Miss Collins. Go to hell. I guess it's your job not to believe me. But I don't see the point in any of this lame psyops crap. Nobody dares to violate the PRA. Well, as it happens, we're done. I've learned all I need to here. Congratulations on your new life, Sarah Collins. Welcome to the jewel of the Pacnor Hollow Theater, Miss Collins. Thanks. It's been here two years, right? Yeah, we're still young, but doing all right. I'm glad I renovated the old theater. It's revitalized this area of Portland City. You might say it's been rejuvenated. You might. 
So what brings you to apply for a job here? I thought women your age weren't really into holo theaters, even those studying in Cuba. I'm kind of a throwback. When I saw the opportunity posted, I wanted to check it out. I'd need to holo commute until I graduate, of course. Of course. Look, Mr. Anderson? Please, call me Francis. Francis. Before we get started, can I ask a favor? Sure. If I don't get the job, can we go to dinner? <laughs> sure, why not? Still so sweet. Well, Miss Collins, sorry you didn't get the job. Maybe try again after another year of school? It's fine, I understand. So, are you going through an older man phase? Is that what this is? You're not that old. Liar, but I'm flattered. Why no family, Francis? My family got kind of ugly growing up. I saw too much of the dark side of that life. Some people see the mistakes, know what to avoid. Yeah, that's one response. But in my experience, people just make the same mistakes, play out the same patterns they grew up in. I see. Tell me about your mother. Wow, you really cut to the chase. More than you know. I guess a man's relationship with his mother says a lot about him. I've heard people say that. Never believed it. Oh? No. So it was bad with your mother. Well, we didn't have an argue or anything. She was my mother. For the first part of my life, I couldn't talk back. For the rest, it wasn't worth the bother. What's wrong, Francis? Who had the bad relationship? My brother, Thomas. Is your mother still alive? No, she died a few years ago. I went to the funeral, but almost nobody else did. One of her useless exes, not sure why. Thomas didn't bother. Said, what's the point when the PRA doesn't let you see the body? But he just didn't want to. Not that I really did. I have to keep calm. Show nothing. I'm... I'm sorry. It was for the best. To be honest, she died spiritually years before. Yes. What was she like? I hate to speak ill of the dead. It's not like they can ever know. Maybe it will help. Have you ever told anyone else how you felt about her? Not really. Well, there you go. Dinner and catharsis with a beautiful 21-year-old. It's your lucky day. Hold it together. <sighs> she used people. She used me. Emotionally. And then I guess financially. Getting her out of my everyday life was the best thing I ever did. Still kept in touch. Still sent the money. Thomas wouldn't, even though it would be much easier for him. But I kept her at a distance. Never let her get too close again. Emotionally or geographically. But didn't you love your mother? Not really. Not for any actual reason other than she was my mother. You're supposed to, right? My brother Thomas became a lawyer and she seemed to approve of that, but they hated each other. And every time I had an interest in holo theater or anything similar, it was, oh, that won't provide stability. Common enough for parents to be that way, isn't it? They're just concerned. It doesn't make it right. You have no idea how much harder I had to work, and so late in life, to have the confidence to make something like this theater work. But surely you can forgive her. She must have sacrificed a lot for you and your brother. <laughs> yeah, and she never let us forget it. It was like it was all she had to justify her existence, and she didn't even look for anything else. I don't really know what she, she enjoyed in life. Nothing, it seemed. I couldn't love her in the sense of wanting to be around her. I don't know how she got to be the way she was, whether it was the men who disappointed her or what. But I don't... I think she was a person who thought life and being happy was supposed to be automatic if you just said and did the right things, the things everybody else did. She said and did them, and nothing ever got any better, and she was never happy. I don't think she knew what it meant. And she couldn't forgive the world for playing such a cruel trick. Maybe so. Can I give you a lift, Miss Collins? The Hyperloop station? 
What's wrong? What's over there? It's... it's nothing. I... I've just had this weird feeling of somebody, well... <laughs> following me. Ever since I left the university. Huh. I don't see anyone. Any reason someone should be doing that? No, no reason at all. <laughs> it's probably just paranoia. Well, at least I can tell you this part of Portland City is perfectly safe at night. Still, are you sure I can't drop you off somewhere? No, that's okay, thanks. I have uh, somewhere else to go nearby before I leave the city. Thanks for dinner. Sure. Take care of yourself, Sarah. Take a look at this one, miss. It uses the latest sonic technology. Oh, show me, please. You see, you squeeze the handle here, and it uses sonic vibration to make the cutting power far greater than any other blade. It's basically effortless. Without an actual projectile weapon, this is one of the only ways a sportsman can hunt. And of course, uh, field dressing and skinning is a breeze, even for someone that's fairly small like yourself. Impressive. Pardon me for saying, miss, but you don't seem much like a lot of the hunters we get in here. You do have a lethal outdoor gear license, right? Uh, well, see, I don't like to kill animals. I just want something to protect myself when I go camping at Crater Lake. I'm not supposed to sell you this without a license, miss. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Charlie, you really camp up at Crater Lake? Look, Charlie, a pretty young girl like me shouldn't have to rely on hollow cops and robo rangers for protection, should I? I saw your old Restore the Second Amendment sign when I came in. You don't seem too worried about rules. Oh, that, that sign is just an antique for sale. Uh, historic value only. Sure it is. I mean, what an old-fashioned idea. Rights, huh? I think you dropped your lethal gear license on the floor there, Miss Sarah. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Okay, Miss Collins, what brings you to seek the services of an attorney? I don't usually grant appointments without knowing first, so I hope this is worth my time. How did he get even more absurdly obese? He's ready to break that expensive chair. I need to sue somebody. Oh, for what? Senior abuse. <laughs> Amazing. Just incredible. Yes. Hello, Mother. Hello, Thomas. Do you really want to sue me? If I did, I'd get a different lawyer. Wise. So, then why did you come up here, huh? Why have you consciously, willfully violated the PRA? You're insane. To find closure. And an answer. Have you seen Francis? Yes. Does he know? No, he didn't catch on. Then I know of. And I didn't tell him. How'd it go? 
Fine. There's a son who knows how to honor his mother. And at least he didn't grow enormously fat. <laughs> at least I'm not a beta male idiot. That's the last time you insult your brother. I doubt it. And what answer are you looking for? I hate you. You know that. My rejuvenation was paid for anonymously. I worked out that it wasn't Francis, so then tell me the truth. Was it you? Of course it was me. Why would you do such a thing? Happy to see me? Happy to be back at war with me? Because I knew this could only turn out one of two ways. Oh? Yes. In scenario one, you're gonna have a whole new life to make all the same stupid, self-destructive mistakes all over again. You're gonna get old and sick again, well before your time, because that's who you are. You don't know how to live. You don't want to live. You never did, and you never will. You'll probably hook up with another string of useless men just to bring kids into your life just to make them all miserable. And this time, it won't have to be me or poor, sweet Francis. What's the other scenario? <laughs> this one, the one I most expected. I knew you'd come back looking for me, looking to drag me down, to hurt me again, to Stick it to me to remind me that if you can't be happy, I sure as hell won't be either. I knew you'd do it. I wanted you to. You're gonna get cupped. Do you understand? You're gonna get cupped. A fate worse than death. Not if nobody finds out. But they will. I made sure. I filed an anonymous tip right around the time that you might be finished. I'm sure they've been tracking you ever since you left the rejuvenation center. Probably be here any moment. God, look at you. What a masterpiece. What a beauty. What a magnificent that's it. Get off of me! Can't push him off. Can't breathe the blood. Citizen, you have committed a crime. You are under arrest. Do not struggle against the stasis net. Uh, turn it off! Turn Do not struggle. Turn. You are under arrest. Turn it off, you stupid hologram! Can't you see it's got both of us? He's crushing me! Turn it off! Struggling against the stasis uh, net can only cause injury. Turn it off! Human yeah. officers will turn be here off. momentarily. Do not struggle. Uh, Oh god, the knife! Turn on the net! Turn Struggling it against Turn the stasis it. net can only cause injury. The knife! Oh god! Struggling against the stasis net can only cause injury. Jesus! Stasis net off! Rejuvenation Officer Carl Baker reporting. I was tailing the suspect, but arrived too late. Send PRA enforcement and a homicide team here right away. Tell them it's a real mess. It's really too bad. What a very beautiful young woman.
Rejuvenation Inc. starred Wesley Neville as Sarah Collins, Sandy Orr as the voice of Katherine Anderson, and Casey Jones as Francis and Thomas Anderson. Also, in order of appearance, D. Alvis was the Rejuvenation ad spokesman, Patsy Arenas was the Rejuvenation attendant, Anthony Loy was Rejuvenation officer Carl Baker, John Espinoza was Charlie the shopkeeper, and Jay Barker was the hollow cop. The story was written by David Gulbra, audio play by David Leader, voice direction, music, and sound design by David Leader. Rejuvenation Inc. was produced by Sonic Leader Productions in Los Angeles, California. To find out more, please visit sonicleader.com. That's sonicleader.com.